Unless you eat on the street, you don't really get a feeling for the culture of the country. We wanted to do British street food. Anything using 100% British produce is British street food. The menu has to be based upon whatever's seasonal. Whatever's coming out of the ground at that time of the year is what goes into the food. We buy all our produce direct from the farms, so there's no middleman. Whether it's lamb or pork or chicken, we go straight to the farmers. We know exactly where it's coming from. It's just a way of showcasing all their hard work and we just cook it very simply, treat it with respect. The thing that I love about Koya is the simplicity of it. They specialise in udon noodles, but do it incredibly well. When you find a restaurant like that, you just want to go back and back again. When you eat that bowl of udon, it's as perfect as it can get. That kind of purity to create a dish thinking it's enough, it doesn't need anything else, is what I enjoy. It's really interesting to see someone who's cooking food from that originated the other side of the world, bringing local British ingredients into those recipes. What stood out for me was Junior, the head chef, and his knowledge of Japanese food and his passion about what he was doing. You know, udon noodles is such a simple dish. It's peasant food, but he's kind of taken it to a completely different level, and he's refined it, and it's become this beautiful bowl of tasty noodles, which looks essentially really simple, but there is so much thought and care gone into producing this beautiful bowl of noodles. When you go to an udon restaurant, the most important aspect of it is two things. It's the broth, the flavour and intensity of it. So the udon noodles should have a texture to them. In Koya, he uses those small anchovies with bonito flakes, which is like a tuna, which has been dried and shaved. And he uses that to produce this wonderful, clear, flavoursome broth. And that is the essence of Japanese cooking.